Well, we're exposed. Spent lots of money on the truck. Don't do truck things with it. We got tow mirrors and no tow hitch. Let's go. What's up, guys? A big happy Aloha Friday to you all. Ekomomai, too. This little piece of paradise in the Luster Hawaiian garage. We've got the 07 Silverado back at it again today. If you missed the last upload, my goodness, this rear end is completely transformed. We've got our Gaver U182 leaf springs, our King adjustable compression shocks, and our hanger shackle kit from CWF Off-Road. It outdoes the front end so much that I obliterated some suspension components on the front end, which we're gonna be dealing with. A few years ago, I installed these Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors. Love them. Aesthetically, these mirrors look fantastic, but a slight confession here, this truck does not have a tow hitch. You are one pathetic loser. <laughs> but it doesn't matter anymore because we're building ourselves a dream free runner. Today's actually gonna be pretty fun because the first thing we are tackling today is something you can actually replicate for yourself if you have somewhat of a stock-ish Silverado at home. My 07, I have Boost Auto Parts, tow mirrors with white and amber LEDs in the mirrors. These look fantastic, but the approach and build we are going for this truck, tow mirrors just don't make sense. And I've mentioned it before, I don't even have a tow hitch. So what we're doing first today is actually a little bit of a backtrack, but in a fun way. So we have our stock mirrors being an LT, they're just Black, ugly, faded plastic. Who knows where we're going today, but I can say this is gonna be epic when we're done. We've got a few different things here. So first off, our stock mirrors. So I believe these are made where this cap at the top, you can actually remove it, but also gain access to the backside of the mirror because I wanna remove the mirror before we start messing with this. So once we do that, we're gonna sand all of that down. We have automotive primer, adhesion promoter because painting plastic is always a pain in the butt. Dupla color, color match. Dark mean blue metallic is the color of my truck. This will be my base coat. And then we go back with a rattle can clear coat. This stuff is pretty phenomenal. And then from there, I was digging around my toolbox. I have these little random lights. Modify that mirror a bit to utilize something like this. So this is gonna be sweet. Hey guys, Chris Fix here. All right, here's one of the sides. This was kind of a pain in the butt, so I'll go over real quickly how this comes out. So we've removed both the top and lower plastic caps. Now I removed the top first, something to be aware of. There is locking tabs. I ended up breaking one of those, so be careful when you're pulling that off. Pry off the top and then work out the bottom real slowly. On the bottom side, there is also locking tabs there, which you can actually access once the top's gone. Push that down, pop that out, and then work this out real carefully. The mirror is hooked in in four locations here, there, there, and there. It locks itself down by sitting like that. And given this mirror was sitting here for about 15 years, we did have to kind of persuade it to come off very, very carefully. Got underneath these little perches and just basically broke them loose. This is glass, be very careful or else you're gonna be back on eBay ordering yourself a new one. All right, both mirrors disassembled and we got the glass hidden away over there because I have two kids that will destroy things if they come out here. So now what we're gonna do is grab our sandpaper and work on sanding this plastic down as smooth as humanly possible because you wanna go for a glossy finish. Kind of similar to the newer Silverados. You guys sit back and enjoy and I'm gonna be here for a little while. Got a lot of sanding to do. That took forever. Sanding texture off of plastic is the pain in the butt, but it's totally necessary because what I want is a nice glossy finish going for this fun project we got going here. So that took forever. All the sheen, all the shine is gone. This is as smooth as I can possibly get it with 400 grit sandpaper. So from here, what we're gonna do is hit it with some adhesion promoter. I know I seem to have trouble painting plastic and getting it to adhere and stick. Adhesion promoter helps. So we're gonna go to adhesion promoter first. Sandable primer, <laughs> whoa, sandable primer next. This is a high build primer. We'll go back and sand the primer down, hopefully fill any last imperfections we might have on these pieces. And then we're going to base coat, clear coat. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So we're gonna get it nice and cleaned up and start the painting process. Let's go.
adhesion promoter and primer are done and actually stuck pretty well. I did forget that Texas decided to be 95 degrees at the end of September, so the bugs just went nuts. What these are are cheap Amazon LEDs. They're usually meant for trailers, but we're gonna use them here on my mirrors. Since these mirrors do have a significant amount of void space on the underside, it gives me the perfect opportunity to mount some floodlights underneath and I can wire them into a power source that comes on when I hit the unlock button. Make some marks, make some cuts in this plastic. Let's go. It ain't pretty, but it's gonna work. Did a rough drawing and then used the Dremel. We now have a location in which to mount our LED lights, which is gonna slide in right there. So that actually sits Pretty dang flush. I'm actually kind of surprised with that. That's progress. It is time to start sanding the primer down, get it nice and smooth. We'll probably go 800, then 1,000 grit, and then we're back out to the yard to use some base coat. Eight hundred grit, one thousand grit, and just a brief. Come on. I'm an idiot. So 800 grit, 1000 grit, and a brief wipe down. And now what we're gonna do is wipe it down one more time with alcohol. And we have this beautiful makeshift paint booth. The dark Ming blue metallic is gonna hit the piece that I just knocked off onto this beautiful pebble driveway, but the rest of it is gonna get a gloss black. This is actually the same OEM color as the new 2020 Trail Boss over there. I think it's gonna look good tied in with these trim pieces, which are actually a gloss black. So as you come here to the front mirror, so you have a gloss black here, hopefully this is gonna look nice and clean and glossy. One more quick wipe down, time to paint. I'm gonna call that a success. So we have three solid coats after a nice light mist coat on each of these pieces and they actually turned out pretty dang good. And if there's any imperfections, we can take care of them in the morning, sand those things smooth. That's gonna look good. All right, well, that's all curing up before it gets totally dark tonight. I'm gonna go over a few updates that you have been asking for, primarily about our shop. So if you guys are new, the whole deal with the shop is we had a deal that when this channel had 100,000 subscribers, we got the green light to begin the build of our dream shop. The goal here is a 40 by 50 shop with two 10 foot doors, a man door, a couple windows, essentially all that a man could hope and dream for. But uh, as you can see, we haven't gotten very far. We've talked to several contractors and it just turns out with all the insane growth here in North Texas, there's just no materials, no contractors, no builders, no one. Actually, the first contract that gave me a price, they didn't even bother to come out here and just said, yeah, 350 grand for a shop, 350 grand. So needless to say, we're having a little bit of a difficulty getting this thing started. We do have my third contractor that's putting together an estimate as we speak. We should have that back by next week, get an understanding on pricing, what we're looking at here. It is making me nervous. And heck, I might just tackle this myself and see how far we get. So guys, thank you for your patience with the shop. It is coming. We're just fighting every uphill battle you can possibly imagine. So I'm hoping by the next video, we'll have a detailed breakdown of the cost of this 40 by 50 dream shop with 12 foot eaves, 10 foot doors, and a high clearance truss system so I can put a lift in there and get vehicles up in the air, play with them. Back at it bright and early before the kiddos get up for the day. Last night, it looks like these guys cured up pretty good. What we're gonna tackle this morning is correcting any imperfections in this base coat before we hit it with clear. The clear coat we're gonna use is this Clear Glamour 2K Max. I love this stuff because it's actually like a two-part clear within a rattle can. You break the seal there at the bottom, shake it up real good, and you gotta use it within a couple days or else it hardens up.
three coats later. Look at how shiny and pristine that finish is. Stoked on that. But of course, we couldn't execute this without something happening, so we did get one. We did get one bug that decided to become part of the structural integrity of the truck for the unforeseen future. But look at this black with a couple coats of clear. That is pristine. So next up, we're gonna get these new locations with our LED lights. As far as the wiring goes, I'm gonna leave the wiring from the Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors for these spot lamps. I'm just gonna reuse the spot lamp wiring for these guys. So it's actually gonna work out really well. I just basically cut and splice. We're getting close, guys. Getting close. Can get these things pulled off and swapped out. Hey, you know what's really convenient about making videos all the time is when you have to redo things, you actually go back to the previous video and remember how to do it because I totally forgot how to pull these off. And I was just watching this video here and uh, look at the garage. Look what the garage used to look like. That's the hot water heater and then basically that side of the garage. This has come a long way. And then just simply throw the mirror away because we're upgrading. Things you say that uh, don't age well. Good thing I didn't throw them away. Door panel. The good news is the Dynamat still looks pristine, holding up well. If you guys haven't seen that one, we lined the entire interior of the cab in Dynamat and Kilomat from the ceiling to the floorboards, even like behind the dash. Literally everything's lined. And also looking back, I don't know if it was really worth the whole time and investment to make that happen. It made a difference for sure. The amount of work it took to do, I don't know if it was worth the results that I'm getting. Regardless, she looks good. So what we're going to do now is figure out wiring, what goes to what. So back here are three bolts that hold this mirror onto the door. We are taking the spot lamp wire and gonna utilize that power source to power our new puddle lamps that we've put into our new mirrors, our old mirrors. Now well past Aloha Friday at this point, and it's time for the kids to get in the bath and bed because we have work tomorrow. We at least got one side hooked up and done. This looks so freaking good. I am so stoked on this color combo, but more stoked on that number. It's so perfect underneath that mirror. Sunday night, we get wrapped up. We got work in the morning. We'll be back here as soon as we can. Good day, good day. Hey guys, we're back in the house real quick because I did want to check on one thing before we reassemble everything back together. We have our window switch from the driver's side of the truck, but the passenger's window switch hasn't been working for me for the last few months. So I went ahead and pulled the housing off of all these electronic pieces here, opened this guy up and noticed that the passenger side, when you hit that button, it presses on the back side of these. This one had a bunch of nasty, like black and corroded junk on there. So I cleaned these calm terminals up but even on the back side here, you'll notice there's like that black and gray stuff on the back side of these pieces. We're gonna clean all that up, put it back together, and hopefully this fixes our problem. And hopefully this helps someone out there experiencing this issue as well. What do you guys think? Did it work? Some alcohol and a rag. We'll see if that worked. Driver's side still works. Does the passenger side work? Please work. Let's go! Window switch is fixed. Heck yeah. One less part we need to buy. All right, guys, the mirrors look pretty freaking amazing, but we do have a few things to deal with. We have some suspension components, bushings specifically. It definitely was from the fun we had when we got the rear end installed. They're completely gone. 
just completely gone. And I mentioned in the last video that there was a rattle. There was a slight rattle I need to track down because it kind of sounds like a tin can just- I found the rattle. It's the lack of bushings left on this sway bar. So we went ahead and ordered some new sway bar in links, but since I'm down here already, I figured I'd go ahead and replace these bushings as well. Let's get these things on there. If it dies, it dies. Too much time sitting around admiring our lights and now we are on the trickle charger. Bushings are in, bushings look fantastic. Mirrors are done, they look phenomenal. The floodlights are operational. But we're not done because we have our few finalists of our vinyl colors that we're gonna wrap a big portion of these panels to decide what the ultimate color is going to be for this truck. And I'm gonna need your help in the comments below deciding what that ultimate color is going to be for our soon to be named project on the OG Silverado. And over here we have our few finalists for our colors. This satin metallic blue looks really cool. Blue green color, which I did not anticipate you guys voting for. We have somewhat of a deeper blue. They call it, I think it's Tanzanite. And then lastly, which is probably my favorite at this point, this is a deep blue from Vinyl Frog. So let's go ahead and wrap portions of this truck, get this thing outside the sunlight and we can actually see what this thing looks like for real. All right, that was a quick wrap job, so please excuse the poor execution. I just wanted to see the color on the truck, and a few things have happened as I pulled it out in the sunlight. This color used to be my favorite, but it's actually leaning currently towards this one there. This is the only satin test sample I had, and it's got a little bit of metallic flake in here, but once you get it out in the sunlight, it looks so stinking good. And imagine some gloss black accents with it. I just think that tie-in would be phenomenal. This one here, I still really love, but in most angles, it looks purple versus blue. When the sunlight hits it, it's perfect, but from angles like this, I'm just not sure if I like the color that much. This one on this side, which is number one, it's too close to the current color of the truck. It's a little bit different, but if I'm going through the trouble of wrapping this thing, I might as well change the color to more of a color that I love. And then this one over here, we're probably not gonna be going with it, but I do like it. Not for this project, but for potentially uh, that one over there. From most angles, it looks like a real dark gray, but when you get light catching it just right, you get a nice hint of that blue green color, almost like an Aston Martin British racing green. So let me know in the comments below guys, which one we should go with. And while you're down there, if you haven't hit that subscribe button just yet, smash that subscribe button, be part of the Ohana and the family. That's a wrap for, for the wrap portion because these mirrors turned out so good guys. I could actually probably just rattle can the fenders and have a match really, really well with the truck. It, it's nearly identical out of a rattle can. Super happy with the results of today's project, guys. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up, including what literally just arrived from these guys. I think a few of you will know what that is, but if you don't, I'm so shiny. We'll catch you guys in a few days for our next video. Until that day comes, y'all take care of who we hope. Not a lot. <laughs> and on top of that,